Hello everybody, what is up, Prof Toast here, and today we got a new unboxing and a review. This time we're doing the new Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 Classic in the 46mm size. So this will be a pretty cool one because as you guys, if you guys been around my channel for a while, the last one I got was back in 2018 or 2019, yeah I think it was about 2018 I believe when I got the original Galaxy Watch and I've basically stuck with that one since, yeah, since then. So this is going to be a pretty big update since now they're using the new Wear OS. So we're going to kind of, you know, start it up, you know, unbox it, check it out, and basically kind of get it sort of set up. And then after that, I'm going to basically be using it for the next week, trying it out with fitness, just doing it in normal day-to-day -day life, see how the battery works. Then I'll sit there and check in and let you know what I think and how good of it, it is compared to, you know, the original Galaxy Watch. So let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. All right, so here we are with the boxing right here. As you can see, um, if you guys are familiar with the 2018 Galaxy Watch, They've definitely changed their uh, box style up just a little bit. They kind of went more sleek, more minimalistic, because the other ones used to be either square or round, and then this one is just, you know, straight box, you know, simple Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. All your information on the back. Just, this is gonna be the Wi-Fi GPS model. So yeah, then of course it's a black one. Then let's go ahead, break the seals on that. So when you unbox it, oh this one actually came out right away, but you got your all your instruction stuff right there. We got the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic right there in nice and black. So we got the nice clicky bezel, the new uh, sensors on the side. But let's go ahead, put that right there. We'll go ahead and check out all the fancy stuff it comes with. So this one, yeah, you don't get no charger bricks no more because that seems to be the new trend, but this one's not really that big of a deal. Because your main charger, compared to the old one, is actually going to be more of the uh, puck style and everything. If you guys remember with the original Galaxy Watch, you actually got like a little magnetic stand that would actually like sit there and charge your watch. So it's definitely a little bit of a, you know, skip between that and, you know, just using a straight up puck. But I'm still generally curious. I don't know if this will actually work or not, but yeah, I can kind of feel like it sticks. So I'll actually have to double check that and see if it actually works. It'd be kind of interesting, but yeah, it doesn't seem to grip onto it as much as it did with the original Galaxy Watch. So uh, then of course everything else you get with this is essentially just super basic uh, paperwork. Nothing really super important. Yeah, it's essentially just going to be, you know, your basic stuff and then cardboard inserts to basically space everything out. So, let me go ahead and get this stuff out of the way, and then we'll go ahead and set up the watch, because as far as I've seen, it's a pretty simple process. So let's go ahead and get this cleared. Alright, so the first thing that's, another thing that's different is the original Galaxy Watch, you would normally just press this bottom button right here, hold it down, and it would turn it on. This one is actually, they switched it up to this upper area, where you see like a little bit of red. Let's go ahead and just hold that down. Let's see, we'll get our... Little Samsung logo if it wants to focus. It's a little bit of a can sometimes take. I might have to speed it up just a little bit until it takes starts taking us through the tour. But essentially, yeah, there we go. We got the Samsung Galaxy secured by Knox. Then you eventually start seeing it when it goes to because this one, unlike the other ones, I think pretty much just pairs right up to your phone. So I'll go ahead and get my phone unlocked because more than likely you're going to see. There it is right there. Shows Galaxy Watch pop up. You just press connect. After that it's going to basically confirm, hey, this is the one that's showing up on the watch. Then we'll go ahead and get it paired real quick and then check back once it's actually done. Alright, so now we got it pretty much set up. As you see right here, we got our Galaxy Wearables app. It'll show right there. It looks like it already came out of the box at 54%. So you got your all your options for your app screen, your quick panels, your towels, your watch faces. And of course this one, it's going to go ahead and let me zoom in real quick, kind of take you through a tour. It's going to want you to do all the basic stuff like swipe down, you see you got your menus, 
swipe up. Of course, you got your apps. Because it was kind of like one of those things like they force you to do. You you don't really have much of an option, so it's like, all right. So yeah, so now, of course, this is the default watch face it comes with. And of course, you got multiple other ones you can sit there and cycle through, depending on what your style is and everything. But all in all, definitely pretty cool. Like I said, it's a pretty good chunk of little... I'll have to check out, see uh, what other faces they got in the store, but they give you a pretty good selection, and now compared to the old one, yeah, you actually got like a full-on, you know, Google menu and everything, so... Definitely pretty nice. The camera wants to focus, but yeah, so... We'll go ahead and uh, basically I'm going to use this for a good week. And then once I check back in, I'll let you guys know, you know, how my experience, what I thought of it, and, you know, how it works. So I'll see you guys in a week. All right, and I'm back after using the new Galaxy Watch 4 Classic for a week. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys what my thoughts are on this watch. But before, we're going to go ahead and do a little side-by-side -side comparison, comparing it to the original Galaxy Watch that came out. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so here we are with the original Galaxy Watch and the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. As you can see, the box was, you know, fairly freaking chunkier back then, like, definitely pretty hefty size, even had its own little hanger on here and stuff, compared to, you know, our thin, sleek looking box right here. And then this one, I believe when I got it from Costco, it actually gave you two chargers with it, which is actually pretty crazy. And that's another big comparison too, is this one you got a power brick plus the different charger that it came with, which was this little guy right here. It's actually a pretty nice little charger, still had like the whole magnetic feature except it charged through micro USB. And essentially the watch would just plop right down on top of that and be good to go. So all in all it's definitely pretty nice but then we kind of upgraded and stuff to this little uh, puck charger and stuff which now the newer one essentially just goes right on here, it just magnetically sticks and then you just do all your charging like that. So definitely you know quite a bit of a difference you know between the two when it comes to chargers when it comes to the boxes and that's basically yeah they kind of been doing that since Apple decided to you know get rid of you know charging bricks in the box which the brick parts not really that big of a deal considering that you know any standard USB can charge with the newer puck design but now compared to the actual watches itself we'll go ahead and zoom right here as you guys know we originally came off the old Tizen OS and everything which was you know fairly decent and everything but then yeah this one there was no swipe up to get your apps you could swipe down you know get your standard settings and all that and then what was it you would have to press that button on the side in order to actually go get your whole kind of like dial thing of the apps which is you know fairly decent you had a decent amount of little um, apps you can do you had your Spotify and all that or you could sit there and swipe between the different menus Oh well, no, yeah, it looked pretty decent back then, and then, but now compared to our Wear OS version, now that you don't just sit there and tap that button to do anything, because now you actually have to physically swipe up, and then now it's a little bit more comparable to, you know, Apple's watch, because it still kind of has that, you know, whole menu design that you can swipe up from, and actually, you know, select which apps you're doing. You got like Shazam, you got like YouTube Music, Spotify, so you essentially got your web browser right here, which you can sit there and do YouTube, you got Google right here, you got news, weather, Samsung website, so it's definitely a pretty nice little one. You can even essentially watch YouTube videos if you would like, but it's not exactly, especially on the Bluetooth model, it's not exactly the fastest. So all in all, it's pretty decent, but yeah, definitely a nice little upgrade. We still got our drop down menu that looks kind of similar to Tizen's. As you can see, you can sit there, got all sorts of different modes. We got airplane, we got Bluetooth headphone mode. Uh, we got, of course, find your phone, water lock, all that fancy stuff. So definitely pretty nice. Like I said, the tiles look fairly, what was it? They definitely do have a little bit of a facelift and everything. Cause we got, like for me personally, I got my media controls set up. I got oh, my water intake. Heart, you got your activity, your body composition, ECG, stress, blood oxygen, and all that. And of course, you have plenty of options to add tons of different tiles if you really want to. 
as compared to how it looked on the old Tizen OS. Like I said, they look kind of similar, but yeah, you can definitely tell it looks a little bit, you know, older in comparison. Like even that one, yeah, definitely, you can tell the graphics had a little bit of facelift in. Even this one, you still had a pretty fair amount of different little widgets you can do. It just didn't have as many of the scanners because if you notice down here, we had our little, this one that kind of just did your heart rate and your stress versus now we got this way bigger sensor that does yeah, your ECG, your body composition, blood oxygen, all that stuff. So yeah, definitely a lot bigger of a little uh, sensor down here. And even the straps, uh, the original one was using about a 22 millimeter strap, while the newer ones actually used to use a regular uh, 20 millimeters. So definitely a little bit of difference right there. And the body size, this one seems a little bit more chunky, at least width wise, but as for the width, it's about, I think this one looks a little bit more slimmer. But yeah, all in all, definitely pretty nice and everything. And also a couple random features, you know, I'm not really features, but differences between if you're coming off of this watch and going to this watch is with this one, if you wanted to say turn it off, you would just essentially hold down the bottom button right here, then it would give you option, boom, turn it off. This one, if you sit there and go hold down the button here, you don't get anything, but you actually have to hold down both buttons right here then you get the whole option to actually uh, turn the watch off if you need to. Same thing goes for turn it on. This one, all you do is do the same thing. Hold the button right here to turn it on. And then this one, you actually, if you notice, has like the little red button right here. You would actually use that to sit there and uh, turn it on and everything. All right, now it's time to get down to my experience of the watches. So, you're going to be asking one thing I'm going to go ahead and uh, talk about is the battery life compared to the original Galaxy Watch. To the Galaxy Watch 4. Of course, no matter what watch they release after this one, this one has still remained the battery king, averaging out at least three and a half to four days worth of battery life. Like ever since this watch, they've released the Active, Active 2, the Galaxy Watch 3, and then none of those watches, no matter how big the battery is, has not compared to the amount of days you can get off of this one, which is pretty still impressive. So, as for the new Galaxy Watch 4, this is a 46mm and I would say easily with, you know, decent use of me using some of the different um, scans for like stress or blood oxygen and me using that to, you know, uh, do voice text and everything and check the time, I would averagely get at least a good solid two full days off and this is talking me turning it on at 7 o'clock at night and then probably turning it off at between six and seven at night. So, like I said, two good solid days and everything. Um, so not too bad worth the battery and everything. Like there are definitely other options you could do to probably cut down on battery life if you uh, chose to do so. Well, all in all, fairly decent. You just gotta, you know, charge it a little bit more often than you would the original Galaxy Watch. But from what I've seen, they're pretty much, I don't think they're ever gonna actually match this one. And since this is a new operating system, they most likely will be adding new software updates that will improve battery life in the future. So the next question is, so how does it work for fitness? So fitness one, that was actually kind of a funny one for me. So with this one, for the years that I've had it since 2018, I've always worn it on my right wrist. For whatever reason, I'm right-handed. And then just recently, I kind of learned that if you're right-handed, you're supposed to actually be wearing it on the left wrist, which... Yeah, I did not know for whatever weird reason. But with this one, I would sit there and be able to do the exercises and it would track it just fine. But with the Galaxy Watch 4, for whatever reason, on my when I was wearing it on my right hand, it just would not track exercises. Because I guess it's essentially kind of meant for right-handed people. So when I put it on my left wrist, all of a sudden it worked flawlessly. I would sit there and do arm curls and everything and as soon as I would reach down to grab it it would detect that I did that I was able to sit there and do the curls it was tracking everything perfectly it actually uh, has you take a one minute break in between reps you can customize those reps if you want to do something different uh, you can also also the whole blood oxygen level works pretty well the gut body composition works pretty well too and stuff and so those I've definitely been pretty impressed with the whole operating system 
definitely looks a lot better than Tizen. Like, Tizen is decent, but it just kind of did not have that same appeal, like, for the Apple Watches. Those ones look nice, and now with these ones, you can actually sit there, you know, scroll through. You got lots of different sorts of apps, and of course, they're going to be adding more. Uh, they do seem to have, they do definitely need to work on the watch faces because I noticed like as of right now since it's so new there aren't like a ton of them. But I'm assuming that will get added in the future and of course there are apps such as Facer that you can get a ton of customized apps, um, app faces for, or sorry watch faces. So next the question is, if you have the original Galaxy watch and are still using it, should you upgrade? Personally, I'd say like yeah. If you are have you, if you've been holding out for you know a watch that's been like a decent upgrade and like even for me when they had the Galaxy Watch 3, it wasn't even worth it because from what I've read, essentially the 3 still had the kind of same internal specs as this one did. But this one is definitely a lot more upgrade. We got like 16 gigs just of memory. Uh, you can do stuff like, so you got plenty of space for music if you want to use it as a standalone music device for when you're working out. The operating system is definitely a lot better. Stuff like uh, voice to text when doing, uh, responding to text through your watch works a lot better this one. Uh, it was kind of hit and miss, like sometimes it would work and pick it up perfectly, sometimes it would kind of just be very spotty when it came to actually picking up what you said. The new Galaxy Watch 4 seems to have been perfect, spot on. Even when I kind of did one like longer sentence without like spacing out my words, it would kind of like readjust the sentence to exactly what I said. So definitely pretty happy with that. Um, stuff like notifications and uh, and all that definitely work pretty well. It's pretty much gives you about the same information from this watch, but. Yeah, it's definitely pretty nice and it feel, it's been feeling pretty solid and everything. And workout detection, I feel, is definitely improved compared to this one. Like, I was on a treadmill and it picked it up right away that I was running on there and started automatically tracking by itself. Even when uh, running, it seemed to pick it up really quickly, so I was definitely impressed by that. So i definitely say if you've been holding out and, like, literally have had this one since 2018, it's, yeah, I'd say it's a pretty fair upgrade and definitely pretty nice because you do get a lot of new features compared to the original Galaxy Watch. Especially health wise, app wise, you now got the Google Play Store built into the watch which is definitely nice. And you also got a lot more access to different types of apps and then even on the app for the phone it'll actually show you which apps you already have on your phone that you can put directly onto the watch. So definitely pretty nice. Like I said, right now, as you're probably watching this, they are having some deals. Some places have the um, Gal the 46 millimeter about $30 off or so, and even the regular Galaxy Watch has been like $50 off. So instead of $249, it's $199. This one instead of $379 is $349. So it should I don't know yeah like depending on when I put up this video, it should pretty much be you know discounted at most places like Target, Best Buy. I can't tell Walmart because their usual website's kind of weird and wonky. But yeah, all in all, definitely a pretty solid watch, especially if you've been holding on to upgrading. I definitely say it's a pretty nice upgrade. The only caveat to that is keep in mind you will probably have to charge it at least every two days versus you know every three to three and a half days of this one. But all in all, I've been pretty happy with the performance. Happy with you know the fact of being able to just like respond the text on there. Uh, call quality has been pretty nice when I answer it from my wrist and have it coming out the speaker of this one So like I said definitely pretty nice So if you guys have any questions about the Galaxy watch that if you guys own the classic 4 And you guys have any question or if you just own regular watch 4 uh, Please comment below and also if you did like this video or found it helpful Please slap a like on it and if you're new here maybe subscribe to the channel all in all I thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys later